Hi friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library where today we'll be doing a book unhaul. Today is going to be a very stressy, messy Jessie video. Um, essentially, I'm currently doing a cleanup of the house and I'm trying to take all of the things that I'm donating out to the car to get rid of them when I realized that I did an unhaul in February and then never filmed anything. I did um, a little bit of it on, well, I showed all of the books on my Instagram for my close friend circle um, where I've been doing my declutter over there, but I didn't actually film a video of the books I'm getting rid of and I figured you might be interested to know that. So I brought in my boxes back to my room so that I can go through them with you. I may end up um, getting rid of more books when I finish doing the shelves and get everything back on it. I'm gonna go through the shelves again. This was just a like preliminary go through the shelves. Most of these are books that I have read or have um, done like a try a chapter with. I don't think any of them are books that I've never opened. So I got plenty to go through, so let's get to it. I legitimately just have a giant box of books on my lap and we're just gonna pull them out and go through them. Aurora Burning by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. Twisted Fate by Jesse Elliott. Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. The Consister by Sally Hepworth. This was actually a duplicate. I already owned one and then bought another one. Lost in the Neverwoods by Aiden Thomas. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is also a duplicate. Slayer by Kirsten White two of the Summer I Turn Pretty series. Uh, Summer I Turn Pretty and It's Not Summer Without You. The third one's in here somewhere, I promise. The Gilded Ones by Domina Forna. I love this first book. I might have even have given this a five star, but I loathed the second book so much that I can't look at this one anymore. So Makeup Breakup by Lily Manon. Twisted Gift by Jesse Elliott. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I unhauled the first two books of this a really long time ago. I've been holding on to this one for a long time because I really enjoyed this first book even though I hated the other two. Uh, but it's time to let it go. Aurora Rising by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Star Eater by Kirsten Hall. Keeper by Kim Chance. Very Sincerely Yours by Carrie Winfrey. Not Now Not Ever by Lily Anderson. And Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. And that's all of the first box. Our second and final box, Vampire Problems by India Watson, A Confess by Colleen Hoover, The Diabolic and the Empress by S.J. Kincaid. I loved The Diabolic and I hated The Empress so much that I'm not even finishing the series. Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen, Meant to be Broken by Brandy Wood Snow, The Other Summer I Turned Pretty Book Will Always Have Summer by Ginny Hahn, Carval by Stephanie Garber. Uh, this is a series that I don't continue to finish reading because I didn't enjoy this first book enough. Yes Please by Amy Poehler. Bridge to Terabithia by Catherine Patterson. In the Key of Niragani by Natasha Dean. Diary of Anne Frank. Curse of Monte Cristo. Yes I know that's not the real title. Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights. Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. And finally all three books of the what is this series called? The Cruel Prince series. Um, I have duplicate copies. I like this series enough to keep it, but I don't love it enough to have two copies. Um, so I'm getting rid of one of my sets. And that's it. I believe when I originally counted those, it was like 46 books, I think, or 36 or 48 or I don't know how many. Um, but I'll do a tally so that you know how many it was. As I said, those are all books that I've read. Um, things I just didn't enjoy really enough to keep around other than a few exceptions with books that I had multiple copies of. Um, I'm really trying to get my library down to books that I really love, books that I would consider rereading in the future or plan to reread in the future. Um, things that I don't love don't really need to stick around. So as always we all have different tastes in books. We all like different things. It doesn't really matter. What I decide to get rid of. If you love a book, you love a book. If I love a book, I love a book. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, leave me a pumpkin emoji in the comments down below. 
And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!